All right, let's go through these questions together, make sure we're on the loop. So, obviously they're all the same, we've got functions inside functions. The setup, we should be pretty familiar with. What should my U be here, Elijah? Uh, you should be x3 take 4. Yep, very good. And what should my um, Y be represented now as Nick? Me. Yep. Um, U to the power of 4. Very good. So what's my next step, Julian? What do I have to do? Derive each of these. Just think, a week ago we didn't even know what that meant. So I'm deriving u with respect to x, and what does that give me there, thanks, Zay? Um, it'll give you 3x squared take, oh, just 3x squared. 3x squared, and what about my? Uh, 4u to the power 4u to the power of 3. Okay, I'm just going to do this because I'm running out of room doing on the other side of the board here. So that's the first part of the problem done. I now need to represent that as dy dx equals the u dx times dy d and the du should cancel, correct? Don't have to worry about actually physically cancelling. So then I just replace them with whatever I had there. So du dx was equal to 3x squared, 3x squared times my cube. Okay, and that'll give me 12x squared. I'll leave it as u for now, times u. And now I replace u with whatever I did at the start. Whatever it was initially, what I replaced with. But I make sure I've got my brackets, so I've got x to the power of 3 minus 4. Cube. Cube, very good. I dropped my cube off. Sweet. Happy with that? So, for the next question, the same setup. u equals. 3x minus 1, y equals u to the power of 3 over 4. du dx equals 3. dy to u equals 3 over 4 times u to the power of negative 1 over 4. I just take 1 away from my power. Sweet. How should I represent that? Because I could leave that like that, but that's not going to be very much help, is it? Three. Ethan, how do you reckon I should represent that? As a fraction. Yeah, I've got part of it as a fraction. What part should I change? Uh, the new side. Yeah, so I should make that equal to 3 over... The negative's gone. Why is the negative gone? Because I've got it down the bottom. I actually could even represent it differently. How can I represent that differently? Instead of representing it as 1 to the power of 4, I can make that the fourth root of u. Okay, now again I'm running out of room, so I'm going to go back to the other side. The setup's exactly the same. dy dx equals du dx times dy du. I'm not even going to represent u as u anymore. I can just sub that straight in. So that would equal 3 times 3 over 4, the fourth root of whatever my u was initially, 3x minus 1. What can I do at the top? I can simplify them and make that. That's our answer. Cool. I'll leave the last one as a bit of a mystery for you. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own.